Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new NVIDIA Omniverse XR app that released yesterday. Now, this is beta, and there's really not a lot of content that came out with this release, but I was told eventually they're going to have more content for this. But today, I'm just going to take a look at it and play around with it a little bit using a map that I'm going to be making a video on. Now, right now, again, this is beta, and I have the Vive Pro connected to it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop in. And I'll grab my headset right here. And I'm going to go ahead and start VR. And let's go check it out. Now, I, for one, am not really excited about virtual reality because majority of the VR things that I, that I see online are really bad looking. But when I found out about the NVIDIA Omniverse having an XR or VR app, I had to download it because, as you all know, NVIDIA Omniverse supports multiple GPUs. So what does that mean? Right now, this thing is running real time using one PC. And as you can see, it is a little bit laggy. But with NVIDIA Omniverse, like I said multiple times before, it supports multiple GPUs. So what does that mean? Well, that means that this thing here, this app, can potentially increase the quality of virtual reality, all right? And this, looking at this building room right here, this is running on one computer and one GPU. Additionally, my other question is going to be, I don't wanna run into anything here, will this support path tracing? And you can kinda of know what I'm going here. Multiple GPU support, a VR app that can run path tracing. That's going to be insane if that is going to happen in the future. I have been wanting to create a VR type game, a scary VR type game where, you know, it's photorealistic. Because like I said, right now, majority of the VR stuff are just really still gamey. But what if you can take a quality like what you see here in path tracing using multiple GPUs, man, you can really scare the crap out of some people. Now, I don't really know where I am in real world now. I know, okay, so I see the controller over there. So let me go ahead and spin around. I think I know where I am. But my goodness, this supports ray tracing natively, and you can see it on the reflections on the floor again this is beta i mean i don't even know if i'm using this right but look at those reflections this looks amazing now obviously as far as shadows and lighting goes i didn't like this i there's think there's like a standard light that came with it right now that i just use i'm using right now so again you can finesse the lighting here but this looks freaking cool and I will put this tracker right here so I know what is in front of me. And let's go ahead and hop in there. All right, so I think, oh, I was in the window. So here is the bedroom. Obviously, the scale is off because I look like a minion right now. I'm pretty short, um, but my goodness. So I got that so that my desk should be right there so I can actually go left here. And I'm just going to reach out so I don't run into anything. I'll put a chair right here so I don't kind of get out of bounds, but man, this is super cool. Now, this is the type of VR that I'm excited about because the quality of the rendering is insane. This is super cool, and this is running real time again with one computer. This is awesome. It's so funny because it, oh, I just, ran, I just ran into something. I really need to start putting bounds. That's for, whoa, okay, I'm running into that window there. Yeah, what's over here? Okay, yeah, all right, cool. But yeah, I just really wanted to play around with this because I've had this Vive Pro since like Thanksgiving of last year. I got it during Black Friday. I got a pretty good deal on it, but I actually haven't used it for anything but using the camera a controller as a tracker in Unreal. This is my first time actually using it in VR. But man, wow. I have no reflections. I'm not real. This is too cool. 
This is way too cool. I really want to make a scary video using this, hopefully, one day. Because I love horror, man. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just really had to make a video about this and really just to test it out and share it with y'all. If y'all have any questions, let me know, and I'll see y'all later.